everyone, this is Nicole from the library. Welcome to our Just Make It program. The idea here is to be creative and most importantly, to have fun. Today we're going to be making puppets. Can you name some different types? Did you mention sock puppets, finger puppets, maybe even paper bag puppets? I'm going to start by showing you how I make a hand puppet out of paper. Here are some ideas for materials you might use. Here's what I have at my house. Construction paper, washable markers, glue, scissors, pencil, and yarn. Please ask an adult if you're going to use scissors and need a little bit of help. We don't want anybody to get hurt. What kind of puppet do you think you're going to make? Earlier I made a bee puppet, which I'm just showing you here. And I think this time I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to start with a white piece of paper to create the base of our hand puppet. Fold the paper a little less than halfway. This will leave a little extra flap of paper on the side, like so. Here's that little flap of extra paper. Now you're going to take that smaller flap and fold it over top of the larger flap. Now you're going to take some glue, or you could tape it if you'd like, and run it all along that smaller flap. Make sure that there's a good amount of glue or tape to hold it in place. Now you're just going to fold it back over onto that larger flap. Do you see how that creates a tunnel of paper? Now flip the rectangle over. Now find the halfway point and fold the paper in half. That's going to create an arm on either side of that fold, as you can see here. Fold the arm back to that original middle fold, like so. And then you're going to flip over the paper and do the same thing on the other side. When you open it up, it's going to look like an M. So now I'm just going to show you how you can put your hand in your puppet. So you're going to see these pockets. The one on the bottom is where your thumb goes, and the one on top is where you put your fingers. And now you should have a talking puppet. This is the base of your hand puppet. At this point, you're going to start thinking about what you want to add, like wings, maybe teeth or a tongue, eyes. So take a minute and use your imagination. What do you want your puppet to look like? What materials do you have at home that you can use? I decided to make my puppet into a magical unicorn. I'm going to need to make some ears, which I will cut out and glue to the inside and onto the top of that pocket. If you don't have glue, you could try and use some tape here. Then I started to work on a nose. I had some pink paper, so that's what I used. But you could draw one on the white paper, or you could print one off if you have a printer. I'm just gluing on the nose, and then I'm going to add some more detail to the ears, add some eyes. Lastly, I added a horn and some rainbow hair. Here are my completed hand puppets, a unicorn and a bumblebee. Another type of puppet you could make at home is a stick puppet. Here are some ideas for materials you might use for making a stick puppet. Again, just use whatever you have at home. Here are the materials I had at my house. Printer paper, washable markers, tape, 
scissors, and a pencil. I used my black and white printer to print a picture of a butterfly. If you don't have a printer, you could draw one by hand. As you can see here, I just cut out my butterfly and started to color it in with my markers. Once you finish coloring in your puppet, you're going to find some tape and a cross stick or a pencil, and then you can just tape them together, like so. Here are my finished puppets. What do you think you'll make? Once you've finished making your puppets, you can name them and put on a show. Thanks for watching.